Aaron Sanchez, the pitcher, will bat ninth. Aaron Sanchez done a really good job for the Giants. One win, one loss through four starts, a 1.83 earned run average. So here is Charlie Blackman, left-handed hitter, off to a painfully slow start, hitting only 148 in 61 at bats. Nine hits is all. One home run, four doubles. The Giants playing him to pull. Oh, one pitch to him is hit towards left center field. It's going to find grass and roll all the way to the wall. Dickerson tracks it down. They're going to send Crone. McMahon's home, CJ's home. Two run double by Charlie Blackman. The Rockies take a two to nothing lead. And the pitcher for Colorado is the right hander, Chichi Gonzalez. Gonzalez, who has pitched against the Giants already once this year. So the Giants have two runners in scoring position for Alex Dickerson. They are trailing 2 0. Infield is backed up. The 1 0 pitch. Swing and a slow ground ball to first. Breaking for the plate is Belt. He's going to score. Crone, far to his right, gets to the ball. Then he has a foot race to first base and wins the race with Dickerson. But Belt comes in to score. An RBI ground out for Dickerson. Posey moving over to third. So the Giants are down 2 to 1. Here's Jason Vossler, the third baseman. Bottom of the fourth inning, Giants threatening with two down. One and two the count. Here's the pitch. Vossler pulls one into right field. That's a base hit. He got something to hit, and he'll tie the game, maybe more. Dubon coming around third. He's going to run right through the stop sign, and he collides with Ron Wotis. And the throw comes in. Dubon is tagged out by 15 feet or more. He ran right through the stop sign and then he ran right into his third base coach. The run scored to tie the game. After that, it wasn't pretty. They're going to give Vossler credit for a double. So it's two to two. And everybody walking off the field will go on to the fifth inning. Wow, I, I, I just cannot remember the last time I saw that. After the collision, he he might have been out anyway. He probably was going to be, but he was out by a lot after that. So the Giants do score a two-out run to tie the game. It's two to two. It'll be left on left. Alvarez against Ryan McMahon. McMahon has walked and scored. Last time up, struck out. Lefty versus lefty. Here's the pitch. Fastball bounce right back to Alvarez. He's got it. Runs it toward first, and then underhands to Belt for the out. And he leaves them loaded. Three men left, no runs. Giants two, Rockies two, two down, nobody on here. It's Brandon Belt who singled his first time up and scored the Giants' first run. Infield is playing him as a dead pull hitter. 2 2 pitch. Swing and he smashes one to right field, a liner way back there and gone over the Willie Mays wall and just barely into the seats. And the Giants are ahead three to two. Home run number four. The Giants are leading three to two. Don Nunez, left handed hitting catcher, against the left handed Jose Alvarez. Nunez led off the fifth inning with a walk. He popped out to third in the second inning. Alvarez, the one two. Bouncing ball up the middle on to second for one bad throw to first base and the Giants give the Rockies the tying run as Brandon Crawford who hasn't made an error this year air mailed the throw over Brandon Belt. Hilliard struck out in the second inning struck out again in the fifth inning. His contact there, but fouls it off of Kerwin Danley, who goes down. Kerwin, who has been injured before, the home plate umpire is down. Kerwin has taken a foul ball to the throat. He has dealt with some concussion issues, and that foul ball off the bat of Sam Hilliard caught the veteran umpire and crew chief and Ryan Addington the young umpire in the group has already left the field to go put his gear on because they know that Kerwin is certainly not going to work anymore tonight and you hope that he's okay he's up now in a sitting position 
there are protocols in the game now for concussions where they will try to ascertain whether a concussion has been suffered. But he might have been, even been knocked out the way he the way he went down. And he does look like he's a little bit groggy. And we hope he's okay. And he will go off. He's walking under his own power, but with Dave Greshner on one arm and Anthony Reyes on the other. Nunez, the runner at first, belt on the bag with him. The one-two offering. In there, strike three called a fastball down the middle. Third straight time that Hilliard has struck out. But the Rockies get a run. A walk again turns into a run. Rockies have three runs on only two hits in the game. Ryan McMahon will lead it off. Here's the pitch. Ground ball into the hole. It's short. Crawford far to his right. Has it. Spins around. The long throw to first. Belt leaps to catch it. Comes down in the bag just barely in time. And McMahon is called out. What a play by Brandon Crawford. The Rockies are going to use Garrett Hampson as a pinch hitter to try to get a rally started against Jake McGee, who's pitched so well for the Giants this year. 3-3 three to three the score. The Giants and the Rockies inning number nine. The corner infielders Flores and Belt are halfway back. Flores cheating up a little bit at third, and Garrett drives the ball to center field. Going back at the wall, Dubon, it's gone! Touch him all time, Garrett Hampson to dead center field. The Rockies take a 4-3 to three lead. Bard against Brandon Crawford to try to get the Giants started here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Giants trail 4-3. to three. Now the 1-0 pitch. Crawford swings, and there's a long drive to right. If it's fair, it's gone. It is a home run! Hello, San Francisco Bay. It's tied up. For the third time this year in this ballpark, Brandon Crawford has electrified the fans in a game against the Colorado Rockies. Giants have a man on as the potential game winner with Wilmer Flores coming to the plate. Bard again with a two strike pitch to Flores and this one is hit to left Daza on the run crashing into the wall makes the catch for the second out. Oh Jonathan Daza what a play. Here's Ryan McMahon with Daza still at second in a 4 4 game in the 10th. 0 1 pitch hit in the air right center field all the way back and it is over and out of here two run homer for Ryan McMahon on a shot to right center and the Rockies lead it six to four in the 10th that's eighth of the year Crone with a pair of walks a pair of runs scored and he hits it in the air deep right field back it goes another one over and out of here Back to back with McMahon. C.J. Crone with his fourth of the season. And the Rockies open up a 7-4 lead. Bottom of the 10th. Rockies got three in the top half. So the Giants need at least that many to keep this game going. Belt will start the inning at second base with Posey coming up. 3-2 pitch. Driven to right. Blackman is looking up. And it's a fair ball. Belt is going to score. And the Giants will send the tying run to the plate. Posey's got his third hit. Here's Austin Slater now with the Rockies up 7-5 in the 10th. And Posey at first. Slater's first pitch swinging. Ground ball up the middle. Hampson to story for one. On to first for the double play. And the Rockies get their first road win of the season.